Hey guys, back with another lesson. Today we're going to be talking about the particle mole. There's really nothing to review. Uh, this is a pretty simple lesson. Key sentence. Watashi wa Amerika jin desu. John mo Amerika jin desu. Watashi wa Amerika jin desu. John mo Amerika jin desu. Hai. And today's vocabulary, there are three words that I thought would be good to bring back. We'll be using them often in this lesson. Kare, he, him. Kanojo, she, her. Sengo, major, one's field of study. This is a word related to university, right? So desu ka, so desu ka. And so ka, right below that, so ka. So desu ka and so ka mean ah. I see, or oh, really? Is that so? Mm. These are responses usually um, given, you know, right after someone says something or provides new information to the listener. We'll talk a little bit about that later in the lesson. Uh, mo, next is mo, means also or to. And then three occupational words right here an engineer, a lawyer, and a teacher. Engineer, engineer, engineer. 弁護士, 弁護士, lawyer, 教師, 教師, a teacher, all right? Getting into the grammar, declarations with mo. You already know a wa b des means a is b, uh, but you can add additional information after that uh, with mo. A mo b des, a mo b des, a is also b. For example, I'm an engineer. Mike is an engineer too. Watashi wa engineer desu. Mike mo engineer desu. Okay. Sore wa inu da. Are mo inu da. That is a dog. That over there is also a dog. <laughs> so mo means also to as well. Let's see. Diving right into activity one. Using the information in the chart below, make four statements following the pattern so what I'm looking for here is, you know, you're talking about two people that share a similar quality, and you're going to relate them using mo. Pause the video if you want to try it on your own. I'm going to answer this right now. Um, we're going to make four statements. So let's just start, you know, simple with Teddy. Teddy wa. Who else is from Canada on this list? Judy. Judy mo Canada shushin desu. There's one. Number two. Let's just go down. Rebecca. Rebecca wa eto ego ga hanasemas. Ego ga hanasemas. Who else speaks English on this list? Let's just pick the next one down. Tony. Tony mo ego ga hanasemas. That's two. Uh, three. Let's go to Stephanie. Stephanie wa ninensei desu. And then another ninensei is Justin. Justin mo ninensei desu. That's three. And let's see. Let's. Let's do a negative this time. Let's go to Chase. Chase wa eh, Igirisu. No, let's say Italy. Chase wa Italia shushin janai ja arimasen. Who else is not from Italy? Uh, well, anyone really. Joshua. Joshua mo. Italia shushin ja arimasen. Dewa arimasen. Also fine. And I, I'm not sure my the answers I just gave match the uh, sample answers here in bold, but uh, yeah, all of these statements are positive. I, I used a negative one in the last one. That's fine. Look here on uh, this last sample answer, I used karakimashita. Chase wa igirisu karakimashita. Rebecca mo igirisu karakimashita. All right, there's so many things you can say. Um, let's talk a little bit about 
そうですか and そっか。These are responses.、Uh, usually you'll hear like an あ、ah, 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 like that before they say そうですか or そっか before you say it in Japanese, right? あ、ah, そうですか、あ、ah, そっか、like that.、Uh, I come from America, America or I came from America. 私はアメリカから来ました。And then the listener would say, あ、ah, そうですか Oh, I see. Or, oh, really? In English, normally we ask a question. Oh, really? Is that, is that so? You know. I'm a sophomore. 私は2年生だ。This is casual, right?、Uh, and then the other person can casually respond. あ、そっか。私も2年生だ。I am also, I too am a sophomore. I am a sophomore too. Activity 2, fill in each blank with the most logical word or phrase. Uh, go ahead, pause the video to try it on your own. I'm going to answer it right now. Number one, the lady says, Watashi wa kyoshi desu. And the guy says, Ah, so desu ka. We just learned, right? Ah, so desu ka. It's a response. And then he provides some more information about himself this time. He's saying, Watashi mo I too nani nani desu. Am desu. Well, she's saying she's a teacher, and if he's saying I too am something, then it's probably teacher, right? So,、uh, number one, the guy is probably saying, Ah, so desu ka. Watashi mo kyoshi desu. I too am a teacher, or I am a teacher as well. Niba, number two, the guy says, Kare wa bengoshi desu. And then the guy in green says, Ah, so desu ka. Right, so desu ka. 私も、まあ、same pattern, right?、Uh, 弁護士です。Oh, really? I'm a lawyer too, he says. 3番 number three. This one is a little trickier. I included a negative, and, a, and there's a, you can see a question、uh, in the response bubble. The girl says, Jenny はエンジニアじゃない。エンジニアじゃない。Jenny is not an engineer. And the guy responds with, ah, そうか。あ、そっか。そっか。Right? It's informal. Because we know it's informal because、uh, Keddy, her name's Keddy, Carrie, is using the informal negative conjugation of des,、uh, じゃない。Right? じゃない。So we know this guy is saying, あ、そっか。Informal. Keddy も、なになになになに ?Question mark. He's asking a question to Keddy, and this question is about Keddy. So, what could he be asking? Probably,、uh, he's probably asking, oh, he, he says, right, response, oh, really? Are,、uh, are you also not an engineer? <laughs> Or literally, is Carrie also not an engineer? But because her name is Carrie and they're talking directly to each other,、uh, in English, we don't say the name. We say you, right? Kenny mo engineer janai, engineer janai, dewa nai, jari masen ka, janai ka, janai. There, the answer is in bold. Okay. So,、um, it's important to note that mo can replace wa and ga. Alright, you've already seen that, right? Instead of saying watashi or kare or kanojo wa. You say, watashi mo, kare mo, kanojo mo, right? To indicate also as well. So in this example, I can speak English. Watashi wa ego ga hanasemas. I can speak Japanese too. Nihongo mo hanasemas. So normally, right, we have ga here. But mo replaces wa and ga. So this becomes, Nihongo mo hanasemas. Nihongo mo hanasemas. I can speak Japanese too. Activity three, answer each question as it relates to the conversation to the right. So let's read through the conversation. Guy in blue says, O nama wa nan desu ka? The girl says,、uh, Arisha desu. O nama wa? <laughs> the guy says, Eric desu. Doko no shin desu ka? Mexico desu. Spain go ga hanasemasu. So desu ka? Boku mo Spain go ga hanasemasu. Ego mo hanasemasu. All right. So question one. 彼の名前は何ですか彼女の名前は何ですか
What is his name? What is her name? Well, kare no namae wa Eric. Eric desu. Hai. De kanojo no namae wa eh here. Alicia desu. Right. 2番, number 2. Kanojo wa ano doko kare kimashita ka? Where did she come from? We can use her name now. Alicia wa uh right here, right? Mexico, Mexico kare kimashita. You can also say Mexico shin desu. Either way is fine. Number three. Kare wa Spain go ga hanase masu ka? Eigo mo hanase masu ka? So does he, Eric, in this case, speak? Can he speak Spanish? Can he also speak English? Well, <laughs> in the last speech bubble here, uh, he says, Boku mo Spain go ga hanase masu. I too can speak Spanish. So we would say, Hai! Uh, Eric wa Spain go ga hanasemasu. Uh, and he also says, Ego mo hanasemasu. So then we could just say, Ego mo hanasemasu. <laughs> and there are the answers in bold. Mm. Using uh, mo, mo. So you can say, uh, this and that, both this and that, or with a negative sentence, neither this nor that in Japanese, using e mo, bi mo, both a and b. For example, both he and she are Japanese. Kare mo kanojo mo nihonjin desu. I can speak both English and Japanese. Eigo mo nihongo mo hanasemasu. All right. Some negative examples for you. These are the exact same sentences, but with negative conjugations. Uh, neither he nor she are Japanese. Kare mo kanojo mo nihonjin dewa arimasen. Or ja arimasen. I can't speak neither English nor Japanese. Normally we don't say it like this in English. So I'm, I'm not even sure if this is grammatically correct in English. But in Japanese it's ego mo nihongo mo hanasemasen. That is the negative conjugation of hanasemas. Hanasemasen. All right. Next, we have activity four. Using the information in the chart below, make four statements following the pattern: nani nani mo, nani nani mo, nani nani des, or nani nani mo, nani nani mo, nani nani ja arimasen, or dewa arimasen. It's up to you. Use as many nani nani mo structures as you need. We can just keep building these. Both this person, this person, this person, and this person are, you know, one thing related by one thing. You'll notice too, I've changed the year in school to an occupation. We're going to try to use some of that vocabulary that we brought up in our vocab section. So I'm just going to, uh, you can pause the video, try it on your own right now. I'm going to make some statements. Teddy, let's see, Teddy mo, uh, I want to use the shushin, Canada shushin. So Teddy mo. Judy mo Canada shushin desu. Teddy mo, ano, Teddy mo Judy mo Canada shushin desu. Or Canada kara kimashita. Okay. Uh, our second statement, let's use the language English for Rebecca. So, Rebecca mo Tony mo Chase mo <laughs> ego ga hanasemasu. So, Rebecca, Tony, and Chase, all of them speak. English. Okay, and then let's use the occupation. Justine, let's go to Stephanie. Yeah, let's go to Stephanie. Eh, Stephanie wa, ah yeah, Stephanie mo eh, gakuse dakara. Stephanie mo, Teddy mo, gakuse desu. Simple. And then finally, let's use a negative. So neither this person nor that person nor this other person are or speak or are from this thing, place, whatever. Let's use Joshua. Joshua wa Russia go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joshua mo, Judy mo, Flavia mo, Chase mo. Justin mo, Rebecca mo, Teddy mo, Russia go, hanasemasen. 
all these people, nor this person, nor this person, nor this person can speak Russian. I don't think that was my part of my sample answer, but well, it's fine. How'd you do? Now we're going to finish up with our listening activity. I'm going to say two uh, phrases, and I want you to listen and either write them down on a piece of paper or in your head, whatever's fine. And I'll uh, show the answers after I read each one. Ready, number one. Joseph wa engineer desu. Amba mo engineer desu. Joseph wa engineer desu. Amba mo engineer desu. Did you get that? Pause the video if you need more time. I'm going to show the answer right here. Joseph wa engineer desu. Amba mo engineer desu. Okay. Number two. Watashi mo kare mo bengo shi jarimasen. Watashi mo kare mo bengo shi jarimasen. Okay, and the answer is Watashi mo kare mo bengo shi jarimasen. Neither I nor him are lawyers. <laughs> Translation practice. Translate the following statements into either English or Japanese. I'm going to show you the answers right now. First guy says, Kore mo kanojo no desu ka? Do you remember kanojo no? Any uh, person's name or demonstrative, whatever, attached to no, the possessive makes it, well, possessive. Is this hers as well? Or is, is this... Hers too, you know. Kore mo? Is this as well? Is this as well hers? Is <laughs> basically literally what it translates to. Both Stella and Bill are teachers. Both Stella, Stella and Bill, Biru, are teachers. Stella mo, Biru mo, kyoshi desu. Kyoshi desu. Hai. And we're back to our key sentence. Watashi wa amerika jin desu. John mo America jin desu. So you should know this means I am an American. John is an American as well. Homework, this and that. Use mo, mo to make declarations about two more things around you throughout your day. All right. And as always, there's a worksheet for this lesson. You can find it on my website. Link is in the description. Otherwise, that's about it. I'm going to wrap this lesson up. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in a future lesson.